Release days for a new map are always a special day in terms of content because we always do the quick guide at the beginning of the day pretty much as soon as I can get that out. And then we normally have a second hunt later on in the day to kind of go and explore the new map. And if you got the stream yesterday, I did mention wanting to try to get two videos out, but one of the reasons that we did so many streams last week was because of PA's firearm season and the fact that I was trying to spend as much time out hunting as possible. Now, in doing that quick guide, it took a lot longer than I expected, and it actually was that quick guide or the preparation for it that even allowed this video to happen. I cannot even begin to describe how excited I am to see this. A level 3 Eastern Cottontail Rabbit is alarm, so we're gonna go ahead and try to- I don't know if that first shot didn't hit, I mean we can hit him twice, so we'll get a second shot in there with the 20 gauge, but I'm actually just going to unlock a couple of the lookout points and just try to have the entire map kind of unlocked to hopefully make a kind of quick guide for this map. And I think the kind of saga with the antelope jackrabbit over on Rancho was pretty well documented. The difficulty in trying to find a diamond was a huge pain, but as we can see, a 1.9 scoring diamond is 1.97 kg, so probably a little closer to a 2 score there. But yeah, it's actually a light brown fur type, which I've not seen a bunch of. And I quite like it, and that's just, like I said, the Diamond Antelope Jackrabbit over on Rancho was quite a pain. Uh, we never did get one in single player, the one that we have was from all the players, so to kind of get that and not feel like we're going to have to grind for a, a rather difficult species to grind for just because they don't have a drink zone and they are so small and difficult to spot, that feels like a huge weight off our shoulders. It was just amazing to see, you know, a species that on Rancho became such a pain to just stumble into a level 3, one that I've mentioned on a couple of those streams, really wanting to get a diamond of and not have to worry about doing that grind. To just stumble into one, I had a max weight track, hope for the best, and the best was there with a 1.9 diamond cottontail rabbit. And this is another species as we go along here, and I think we got the three that we shot at. The Popeye quail, I really have been enjoying hunting them. And I'm looking forward to kind of getting after them a little bit more, and that had been my plan for this video. If we would have had a little more time today, like I said, the quick guide took a bit longer than I thought. But if not for the fact that we had stumbled into that rabbit, I'm not sure that I would have gotten a second video out at all today. So I'm really pleased that that happened, and of course we're going to go back to the Trophy Lodge in just one moment after we pick up our third quail. But we've had a couple of what I think are diamond potential tracks for them. I think it is the 0.16 to 0.19 kg quail females that have a shot at making time, and I'm really trying to make sense of that. I've had two tracks on this map that are that estimate, and unfortunately I've not gotten to spot either bird, so that might be what we do tomorrow or the next day. We'll kind of have to see, but I'm really glad we had a rabbit, and that is going to be our third new addition from Mississippi Acres Preserve to our trophy lodge. You know, I'm still not exactly sure how I feel about kind of getting to keep the trophies from the early access period because we've gotten now our diamond cottontail rabbit and of course the diamond raccoon and gator from our earlier hunts and this is the first time that essentially our main save file was brought over to the early access build and therefore we get to keep everything and I'm just kind of going around two things I've noticed as we're walking along number one is the amount of rabbits we have in this lodge the other is the feral pigs from Te Aoroa, they have had their models changed, so they are going to look the same, the wild hogs and feral pigs, but I'm still going to treat them kind of as two different species, at least in the aspect that I want to have a diamond of both in here. But yet, yeah, obviously this was an early access kill because I had to make the quick guide on the early access build in order to have it out as early as I did. And yeah, those are actually kills that we get to keep this time, so I think that's cool. I mean, we have all these rabbits in here. Got to add that one to it, and I guess that was a thing that happened on Rancho. I mentioned kind of struggling to find that diamond antelope jackrabbit. We shot two diamond antelope jackrabbits on the early access. It was just that that, of course, was at a time that we couldn't keep those. So as we make it over to what is the fifth rabbit species in the Hunting Call of the Wild now, with all those different models, I really like that. I think that is maybe an underrated kind of aspect of some of the smaller game species in this game. A lot of the models are really good and they're varied as well. Like you look at all the different it, uh, models for the rabbits, it's not just the ears, the leg length, the tails, everything is different. And I just, 
I have to appreciate the fact that they do that. And yet another diamond rabbit added to this lodge. That does mean we have a diamond of all five of them. But still quite a number of species to go on in Mississippi uh, to continue hunting for. And that is hopefully going to be the goal as we head back out tomorrow. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.